Good morning. I am Sharon Esther Anadonisita. This morning, I will present a paper titled A Systematic Review on Leadership Styles in Small and Medium-Sized Enterprises. This paper is written together with Dr. Noor Ashik and Muhammad No, a senior lecturer from School of Tourism, Hospitality and Event Management, UUM. Before I go further to explain what leadership styles are, let me first give a brief introduction on leadership. According to Bass 1985, leadership can be found in one's genes, which determine how an individual behaves or reacts to his or her surroundings. When a person is a leader, he or she is actually the backbone of the organization. The leader needs to abide by the policies and procedures of the organization. The leader also sets the discipline levels in an organization and is also an example to the followers. The leadership style practiced by the leader can actually have a significant impact on an organization. Therefore, without proper leadership to lead the followers and to provide guidance through actions, effective communication, it would be rather difficult to reach the mutual goals of the organization. Hence, a leader needs to influence the followers and ensures that the followers perform their tasks accordingly. This is because a suitable leadership style of a particular leader ensures the needs and resources required by the followers can be met. For this study, leadership styles refers to the approach taken by a leader alongside the leadership styles that he or she possesses to influence followers to ensure an organization achieve its goals. Hence, to conduct a relevant systematic review, the current paper is guided by the following main research question. How are leadership styles practiced among leaders in the context of small and medium-sized enterprises? The focus of this paper is on the leaders of small and medium-sized enterprises where followers are working together towards achieving the mutual goals of the organization. Next, we move on to the literature review on leadership style. There are five leadership styles that are commonly discussed by leadership scholars. First, autocratic leadership style. An autocratic leader is confident about his or her position to the extent that decisions are all made by him or her. This leader does not tolerate mistakes made by employees and considers their participation in decision-making process to be entirely at his or her behest. Second, democratic leadership style. A democratic leader focuses more on people and their personal growth. The leader believes that his or her role in decision-making is significant and affects the growth of the organization by listening to his or her employees and considering their ideas and suggestions. Third, laissez-faire leadership style. A laissez-faire leader has a low degree of authority and depends solely on employees to operate delegated tasks. Fourth, transactional leadership style. A transactional leader involves employees in organizational management and planning. The leader motivates members by either exchanging rewards or imposing discipline. And fifth, transformational leadership style. According to Kenya, Kihara, and Wansia 2018, with great persistence, a transformational leader acts as a role model for his or her organizational employees. Next, we move to the research methodology. A form of protocol guidance called preferred Reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analysis prisma is adapted, adopted to find these articles systematically. A systematic review process to select relevant articles involves three main stages, namely identification, screening, and eligibility. 
The first stage, identification, involves searching for related and similar keywords from the sources, encyclopedias, dictionaries, and past research. The keywords are derived from the formulated research question. Keywords that are used are similar and related to leadership styles, leader, and small and medium. Once the keywords have been determined, the search strings on the Scopus and the WOS databases were developed in February 2020, which resulted in a total of 87 articles and another 26 articles being retrieved from Science Direct, Taylor Francis, Say, Google Scholar, and Springer. So this made a total of 113 articles retrieved from the keywords. The second stage involves screening for duplicated articles. Mendeley survey was used to screen for duplicated articles. A total of 39 duplicated articles were removed from the list, and the remaining 74 articles were screened following the inclusion and exclusion criteria determined by the researchers. The remaining 61 articles were then prepared for the third stage of the systematic literature review eligibility. Consequently, a total of 57 articles were excluded because they did not involve leader as a subject matter and did not focus on the leadership style of a leader in the context of small and medium-sized enterprises. Following this step, a total of four articles remain and were included in the review. Article searching via a backward search was also conducted in which the researcher referred to the list of reference of the remaining articles. The steps followed in retrieving articles from article databases resulted in an additional two more articles, making a total of six articles to be reviewed and analyzed. Therefore, the remaining six articles were accessed and analyzed using Atlas TI survey, a computer-aided qualitative data analysis, software. Let's move on to the results. Graph on the left side and figure of world map on the right side represent the general findings and the background of the studies included in the review. In terms of year of publication, one article was published in 2016, one article was published in 2017, one was published in 2018, one was published in 2019, and the two most recent articles were published in 2020. By looking at the world map that shows counties where studies on leadership styles of leaders as small and medium-sized enterprises were conducted, one study with a leader in a small and medium-sized enterprise was conducted in Romania and Netherlands. One article analyzed a leader and followers in small and medium-sized tourism enterprise in Pakistan. One article investigated employers at a small and medium-sized enterprise in Ghana. One explored the leadership style of leader in a small and medium-sized enterprise in Macedonia. And two covered the leadership styles of leaders in small and medium-sized enterprise in Kenya. And these are the main findings. First, an autocratic leader does not incorporate feedback from followers. There is an absence of two-way contact between the leader and followers, which lead to a lower degree of emotional connection among followers in the organization. Therefore, according to Bouchard Chief et al. 2019, the initiative and creativity of followers under autocratic leader is slight or even absent. Second, the democratic leader stresses the equality of followers in an organization. The leader is viewed as trusted by equal to the followers in the decision-making process and considers the expertise and skills of the followers. Third, a laissez-faire leader. This leader gives followers maximum control. Followers make decisions about their actions and resolve problems without feedback from their leaders. However, this type of leader is unsustainable for followers. Fourth, the transactional leader. 
This leader promotes compliance through both rewards and punishment, and followers are encouraged to perform assigned tasks correctly. Fifth, a transformational leader. A transformational leader acknowledges the value of transforming followers, and a leader enhances the performance of the followers. So this brings us to the discussion, conclusion, and recommendation. The study has attempted to systematically analyze the existing literature on the leadership styles of leaders in small and medium-sized enterprises. Leadership styles of leaders are influenced by the background of the organization, the characteristic of the leader, the relationship between the leader and followers, and the position of followers. The first element is the background of an organization. A democratic leader is needed in a matured organization. The older the company is, the more it relies on the success and efficiency of its followers. The second element is the characteristics of the leader. The majority of respondents in the reviewed studies were very much in agreement that transformational leadership also affects the success of medium-sized enterprises in the central business district and Nairobi, Kenya. In contrast, laissez-faire leaders seek to delegate much of the responsibility for the leadership to followers, which is considered the least appropriate and least effective form of leadership. And the third element is the relationship between the leader and the followers. This reciprocal partnership between the leader and the followers serves assures both leader and followers that the issues in the organization can be addressed quickly and resolutely. And the last one is the position of followers. The democratic leader by default allows followers to share their thoughts and ideas and he or she provides inputs to the followers to encourage them to share their ideas. Therefore, to conclude, first, leaders have their own preferable leadership styles in leading small and medium-sized businesses based on what are deemed suitable by them for the organization. Second, leaders almost de facto are people with big dreams. However, when issues arise, they are forced to delegate to employees in order to tackle these issues together. And third, both the employees and the organization require effective leader, particularly in confronting issues and unanticipated situations. Hence, it is crucial to understand what leadership styles may or may not lead to the success of businesses particularly in the context of small and medium-sized businesses. Therefore, this brings us to the recommendation number one, future studies on leadership styles in the context of small and medium-sized enterprises should consider employing a qualitative approach. Number two, future studies on leadership styles should also include the employees. That's all from me. Thank you for listening.